Hey, this is Digital Byte Computing. We're going through the different components of a VNX. So this is a EMC VNX, all right? Uh, you can get, these are, you come in the VNX1 models, and then there's the newer ones that are VNX2 models. This particular one is a VNX1, so it is a little bit older, but the components are very similar. VNX2 has a whole bunch of new, nice little features. So you got basically these sort of units, this particular first one here comes part of the storage processor. So you've actually got uh, disks that are part of the storage processor. So you've got some disks at the very front, which are your essentially contain all your system information. Uh, you don't want to go ahead and remove any of these disks unless you've got EMC working with you, because removal of this could potentially damage your entire VNX. But then you'll see you've actually made up of various disks. So these particular disks are 600 gig uh, SAS disks. They are 15K in speed, okay? When you find that standard um, hard disk sometimes are 7200 RPMs, these are 1500. So you're essentially doubling the speed straight there. Above that, you've got the SP units, okay? And then from there, you've got things like your backup power, all right? So this would be like your backup power. You've got the power units. You can see that. Your trays, you can actually control all your power uh, for one and for two, CPUs one and two, so for redundancy reasons. And then from there, you just break apart into your DPE units, which are your, uh, sorry, not your DPE, your uh, DAE units, which are your disk array enclosures. So these are essentially just enclosures which are just made up of disks. So just basic components of your SAN, you've got disk arrays, all right? This particular one, these are two terabyte, 7200 RPMs, all right? So you will see that these are gonna be slower than the other ones, bit of focus there. Then you've got 200 gig flash, and then you've got your 600 gig 15Ks there as well. So this has a mixture of disk speeds. You can set up what's called tiering on your VNX, on your SAN as well. Okay, so that is the basic components of the SAN. All right, you've got your storage processor units with the disks, the backup power, and then your actual disk array enclosures as well. All right, so that is the front of the unit. Okay, so a basic overview of the back of the VNX1 is you've got your storage processor units down the bottom. You've got ethernet coming in, so you've got an SPA and an SPB. That's the first end, and then you've got the second end on the other on the other side, okay? It's set up in jewels for redundancy reasons. So you've got your ethernet coming in for your management of your SAN itself, and also for if you wanna use the file components and manage your SIF shares and everything like that. You've then got your fiber channels coming in, uh, this is fiber channel, so you can connect it into, say, a fiber channel switch, and then share your uh, your SAN volumes, your LUNs, those sort of things with, uh, for example, uh, hosts like EMC hosts, uh, EMC, excuse me, ESXi hosts uh, as well. That in turn is then all connected to your powers, and then your actual more uh, the modules as well. That's all part of your your power and your storage processing units there as well. That also will contain disks uh, as part of your base bare model uh, as well. And then you add your DAE, your disk array enclosure units from there. You also have got some EMC uh, cabling. Yeah, all right, well, not necessarily EMC, but uh, these cables will then connect your DAE units together. So from there, you run the cabling out into our first unit here. So this is the DAE unit. This will be your first DAE unit. Daisy chaining out from there into your second DAE unit. All right, and then in turn, it'll go to your third, to your fourth, et cetera, et cetera, and how many you've got. So this particular unit will have eight, for example, and you're daisy chaining from one to another, to another, to another. So adding a new DAE is pretty straightforward. It's just a matter of just plugging it in on the top, putting in your power on your left and on your right, Okay, for redundancy reasons, you've got one and two, and then running the cabling from one to the next. Okay, very straightforward. Okay, so that is the basic components 
of a VNX. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for a whole bunch of more videos.